your friends. Happy Friday. My name is Janelle Harden and I've been attending Pender United Methodist Church for about five years with my three boys and uh, we've been following along with the Christmas Advent calendar. So today we are on day 20 and we're going to be reading Luke chapter 2 verses 41 through 51 and my son Tristan and I have been reading out of his Bible, which is the Good News Translation. And Tristan received this Bible when he was in second grade um, at Sunday school with Pender. So let's open up our Bible. Alrighty. So this uh, says the boy Jesus in the temple. Every year, the parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem for Passover festival. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went to the festival as usual. When the festival was over, they started back home. But the boy Jesus stayed in Jerusalem. His parents did not know this. They thought that he was with the group. So they traveled a whole day and then started looking for him among their relatives and friends. They did not find him. So they went back to Jerusalem looking for him. On the third day, they found him in the temple, sitting with the Jewish teachers, listening to them and asking questions. All who heard him were amazed by his intelligent answers. His parents were astonished when they saw him, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been terribly worried to find you. He answered them, Why did you have to look for me? Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? but they did not understand his answer. So Jesus went back with them to Nazareth, where he was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. Jesus grew both in body and in wisdom, gaining favor with God and people. So when I read this passage, what I thought about is how Jesus was actually wiser than his parents thought. So often parents think, assume that their kids are doing something very wrong. It must have been very worrisome uh, for Jesus' parents to not know where he was. But as it turns out, um, he was wiser than they thought he was. So this made me think about how a lot of times kids have a lot to offer their parents, a lot of wisdom. For example, during the Christmas season, a lot of parents get so worried about Christmas shopping and you know cooking and they get caught up and find themselves very stressed out during the Christmas season. So this is a good time for kids to remind their parents that um, they can do simple things to enjoy Christmas um, such as acts of kindness. So we are going to draw one of the acts of kindness out of the bag and we will see what we get in here. So actually we pulled out a card, and this card says, Donate a non-perishable food item to Western Fairfax Christian Ministries. And the items can be left in the blue shopping cart in the Pender United Methodist Church lobby. So we will, next time we're at the grocery store, I'm sure we will go a hundred times before Christmas comes, we will make sure that we pick up something extra to donate at Pender. And uh, I think that year-round, we can actually donate to Western Fairfax Christian Ministries. So Pender is always looking for things. Um, I believe Tristan's going to come help me. Uh, we've been working on our Advent picture, and we're a little behind because we didn't start at the very beginning of December, but we're trying to play catch-up. So looks like we are going to put one of the wise men, or nope, looks like we're going to put a camel on today. Mm-hmm. So we'll put a camel on there. You want to add that on, Tristan? This is a tough decision on where to put the camel. So since we are looking at this nice nativity with all these animals, I think we will tell a joke that has something to do with animals. So what do monkeys sing at Christmas. Jungle bells. 
Well, we hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas and we hope to see you at one of the several services on Christmas Eve at Pender United Methodist Church. Bye.